It was one year ago when the city of Aurora made national headlines after the shooting at the Henry Pratt Company. Naperville News 17's Christian Kenazal shares the stories of two of the officers who were there. Aurora 911, where's your emergency? Henry Pratt, 641 Archer. You got a gunman. The tragic phone call came a year ago. Five lives were lost during the Henry Pratt shooting in Aurora, Illinois, while also leaving five Aurora police officers injured. One of those officers was Marco Gomez, who was just blocks away from the Henry Pratt building when the shooting began. Gomez, along with other officers, started running towards the building when he was shot in the back of the thigh. Just ran. Uh, I figured I couldn't sit there and couldn't drop, so whether it was the adrenaline or whatever, you you know, you just kept going. I you know headed towards a uh, towards the dock area and I tell everybody I, I did my best impression of Javi Baez, did a nice slide. While Gomez assessed his wound, Officer John Sabolski, the first officer at the scene, was inside the building looking for the gunman. Sabolski was on the second floor of the building when he saw the gunman coming up the stairs out of the corner of his eye. Well, he was going up the first stairs, so I, I turned and yelled at him, my gun pointed towards him, Aurora Police. And before I could uh, say the word Aurora, he started firing at us, and the first shot hit me in, in the knee. Sabolski, like Gomez, found himself injured. The two were eventually transported to the hospital. In the midst of drifting in and out of consciousness, both officers fought for the chance to see their loved ones once again. There's something about saying, "Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see them one more time." You know, you you make peace with the man upstairs, and you you said, "If you're gonna take me, take me," but I'm. I'm going to fight until I get to see my family one more time. That, that night was senior night for my son, who plays basketball at that time for Aurora Central Catholic High School. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, you know, it's, it's 1.30 now. The game's not until 7. How am I going to be able to get, get done with this and then walk out with him? Gomez got to see his family again, and Sobolski made it to his son's senior game after it was moved to a week later as a result of the shooting. It's efforts like theirs and every other helpful hand that day that prevented the unfortunate incident from becoming even more devastating. For Naperville News 17, I'm Christian Canizal. Four of the five officers who were injured during the Pratt shooting are now back to full-time duties. Officer Gomez was cleared to return to work exactly one year to the date after the shooting. And Sobolski is eyeing a comeback later this year.